Georgia lawmakers can expect another round of anti-abortion legislation this year now that the Supreme Court has overturned the right to abortion and the state has implemented the heartbeat law that is still in litigation. 11 Alive's Doug Richards takes a look at what's next. Anti-abortion activists say that the enactment of Georgia's restrictive heartbeat bill last year requires an even more restrictive bill this year. State law now restricts doctors from performing abortion services after about six weeks of gestation. But state law doesn't clearly restrict women who want abortions from obtaining abortion medication themselves. Mike Griffin is among those who think it should. I believe that this is skirting around the heartbeat uh, law legislation that was passed and now has been implemented. And so I think something needs to be done to tighten that regulation up. Last legislative session, lawmakers took up a bill to make it illegal to provide abortion-inducing drugs via any courier delivery or mail service, specifically mentioning three different abortion drugs. It would have required women seeking abortions from medications to get an ultrasound first and to be informed she may see the remains of her unborn child in the process. Requiring her to see me in person does not increase her safety. Opponents of the bill included some doctors who said it would actually harm women by giving them fewer options before a fetal heartbeat is detected. If you wait longer because you have unnecessary barriers, you have less chance of having success and you have higher rates of adverse outcomes. That bill never got a vote last year. But with the U.S. Supreme Court overturning Roe versus Wade and with the state enforcing the contentious heartbeat law, backers say the bill will be a pro-life priority starting next week. And that we're looking forward to a day when, you know, we make abortion unthinkable. There has been a lot of membership churn in the Georgia legislature since the heartbeat bill passed in 2019. The question is whether any new restrictive abortion bill can pass again in 2023. Doug Richards, 11 Alive News. Happening